It's really, really disappointing. Nine years as an OFW here in Dubai. Well, it was of our job, it was of this pandemic. We planned carefully to go back at home. I have to depend them. We're supposed to be flying on May 12. Book from Philippine Airlines. But something really surprised. When I reached the airport, there is no registered flight of 659. And it was cancelled. There is no such notifications. Even the travel agency they get uh, last minute, and that time is holiday. When we call the customer service, there is no such available here in Dubai or Philippine Airlines. And nobody cares. You know, here in Dubai, if you are an OFW, before you get your settlement, you have to cancel your visa. And I have two defendants, so I need to cancel first my two defendants, and they can cancel my, my own visa from the company so that I can get my settlement. My challenge now is overstay. Because after cancellation, there is a certain period of a grace period. And suddenly, this travel ban declared. So, for the few days, uh, for a week, uh, grace period, definitely we will get to find here in Dubai. So, uh, the challenge, I contacted the Dubai Consulate through WhatsApp and through mobile, and I made an appointment. So they approached nicely for me there. As what they said, they cannot do anything in a straightforward in terms of fines. All I have to do, to do is I have to go to the Central Immigration of Dubai and request for the uh, what do you call the outpass, which is not free also. It's 240 dirhams for each, so we have three. And there's no guaranteed 100% that they will grant our request for the outpass. The outpass is the procedure to uh, waive our fines of overstay. Now, my disappointment is, since it's an emergency, I understand because of the COVID pandemic. I understand this is an emergency. My right to travel is restricted. I'm not speaking only by my side, only some Kabayans also here in Dubai. Why do we need to suffer those fines since this is emergency declared by the government, Philippine government? So why why I, we need to suffer those penalty? It's not it's not easy money, it's a good money because we don't know yet until when is the travel one from UAE to the to Philippines. So it's unfair for me. Why the government or consulate here in Dubai, they cannot communicate, I don't know exactly what method procedure, so that they can waive our fines. I think we do not, we don't deserve that because of the travel ban and with our uh, uh, flood carrier Philippine Airlines is worse. That's supposed to be, we will not be uh, stranded and we will not cover up with this kind of uh, uh, travel ban. Why we need to suffer and pay those fines? The government has nothing to do with this. I understand always, it's travel ban, it's an emergency, my life was restricted. But for one case of the guy, I think, as what I heard in the news, is traveling from India to the UAE, going to the Philippines, and was detected with this virus. It's over exaggerating, only for one guy. That's a totally travel ban.
So we need to suffer those with Kabaya in the Dubai. We cannot communicate to the government to waive our fines. We are not taking money to help us, give me money and pay for that. I think this is the worst. It, we, are not, we, do, we don't deserve that and it's, we find out this is unfair. In terms of patriotism, as a being Filipino, there is no doubt. For nine years in Dubai, I always bring myself Filipino as a Filipino. And then suddenly when we settle back like this, we will encounter this kind of uh, hosting. It's really disappointing. I thought you're gonna do something friendly for the OFW 